There was a rich variety of flavors and ideas on offer at the Halal Goods Market in Jersey recently, and we've picked out some highlights for you. Before we visit the stalls, we'd like to mention that the material for this feature was recorded prior to the holy month of Ramadan. Korea joined the shoppers at the market's Fox Junction venue in downtown Josie. The artisan food industry in South Africa has really boomed over the last few years, with speciality markets popping up every weekend. Today I get to spend time at one that focuses on halal food and design. Plus, I get to spend some time with the amazing woman who came up with the concept. Halal is an Arabic word that can be translated as permissible, and broadly speaking, it covers everything that is permitted by Islamic law. On a more day-to-day -day basis, it is particularly associated with food and drink that complies with the dietary laws, and the market had plenty to offer. As organizer Femida Jordan explained when she met up with Korea. Hello, Fem. Yay! Fems, this is absolutely amazing. Where did the concept come from? Well, the Halal Goods Market has been a dream of mine for a long time. And one of the major reasons is that when we go to other markets, we always have a hard time finding halal meals or non-alcoholic drinks that are not just your normal, commercially available stuff. But the whole thing about the market is that we want to serve halal food, but it's open to everyone. We're a halal goods market because we don't just do food. We have design goods coming in here. We have fashion, modest wear, all made in South Africa. The idea of the market is to let people know we have this in South Africa. There are people here who have their own businesses that can do this. We need to trust in ourselves more. If we can build businesses in South Africa, then rather than importing from other countries, we should be able to export. We have brands that can grow on their own. Well, I'm very keen to have a look at the market. Shall we take a walk around? Yes, we're going to look at it. With so much to see and sample, Korea and Femida made a flying tour of the stalls before setting down for a quick chat. So you've upgraded to a brand new venue. Why the change? We love the venue. We love exactly where it's located and we love that it's part of the city. So going through the process, this is your third market. There must have been a couple of challenges that you've learned along the way. Uh, go for Femmes. Sorry. Okay, I'm so sorry, Priya. I've got to go out, put out some fires, and organize this work is never done. But please, enjoy the market, eat yourself silly, shop yourself silly. Okay, good. we'll see you in a little bit. Priya decided to follow her nose, and soon she tracked down a South African favorite. It is really rare to find good halal bultong. Bultong has been running now for the past uh, 12 years, and uh, our original branch was in Harrisman. Well, I think I definitely need to have a taste of your piri piri, please. Yes, sure. Give it a try, guys. Oh, that's so good. I think I definitely need a packet of that, please, sir. Um, that's go. amazing. That's Thank you very much. Thank you. A major part of the market's appeal lies in the opportunity it offers for shoppers to chat to the stall holders about their products. And you never know when you may just bump into an old friend. It is so nice to see a familiar Mela face. Chili chocolate sips. Zainab, how are you doing? Oh, thank you, how are you? Very good. So what are you making for us today? We have some amazing things on special today. We have our chicken chow mein. It's filled with goodness. It's topped with cashews, sesame, spring onion. Then we have our brownie box. You have to see what's in here. Oh. Really lovely. We've got bounty brownie, which is coconut, Nutella brownie, and your chocolate and nuts. I'm definitely trying your chow mein. Thank you. Ah, oh, yeah. Thank you very much. It didn't matter which way Korea turned, because wherever she went, a fresh, sweet temptation was waiting for her. From delicious made-while-you-wait chocolate chip ice cream slivers to flavors of popcorn that she'd never even imagined. All this hard work of tasting and testing soon worked out her thirst. So are these Femmes famous mocktails? These are the fabulous Femmes mocktails. I think I'm going to go with the lemongrass ginger. Oh, definitely, and mm -hmm. a good choice today. Thanks, thanks so much, guys. Hey, hey sorry. You okay? You managed. All fires put out. Sorry I did you. I'm so glad you're enjoying one of This is actually locally made. It's a proper, full-on South African product here. You're supporting local. Where do I go if I want a little bit more information? If you really want to know what's happening, who's here, all of those things, social media. Instagram, Halal Goods Market. Facebook, Halal Goods Market. Well, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'm going to go do more shopping, and we'll see you at the next market very soon. Have a blast. The next time I see you, you must have lots of bags in your hand. Deal. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> 
Following the rules doesn't have to mean cramping anyone's style, and the halal goods market enabled us to enjoy many new experiences.